Easy Amateur Radio here guys with another one of my favorite radios and I just love that it is pocket size. This is the QRP Labs QMX transceiver. First before we get started I'm going to go ahead and unhook everything but the power so you can see just how small this radio is. So we're looking at one, two, three, four inches by about two and a half inches. So about the size of a deck of cards. Now I'm going to go ahead take the antenna off this bow thing so we can check and make sure that it really qualifies as pocket so yes this radio is the same size including the bnc connector of a i can actually scoot that down some more of a bow fang uv5r this is the universal standard in amateur radio right now for sizes so now that we've got that out of the way let's do a little bit more in-depth review of the qmx mini so we'll go ahead and turn it off and look around the radio so on this side we have a bnc connector for your antenna a ptt port and a usb c uh input so that's good we'll talk about that in a minute right here we have the paddle and this is also the mic jack the audio jack and the dc barrel connector and we have these two knobs right here now, i'm not a big fan of these knobs because of how high they stick up they're not bad, but if you have a design for some shorter knobs, maybe cut these um, metal pieces down with a Dremel uh, and have some shorter knobs, that might work out fine. So now we'll plug the barrel jack in. This radio will run on 12 volts or nine volts, depending on what build you get. This is the nine volt, excuse me, this is the 12 volt build, but you can still run it on nine volt, but you're only gonna get about three, two to three watts out. You can see we're running the new firmware we have it on 20 meters right now. We'll click through the bands that this model covers. There's 80, there's 60, there's 40, there's 30, and there's 20. So I have a good day and night time with this device leaning more towards night. Now the last QMX I reviewed, it was a daytime band. So it did 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20. This one does the other end. So uh, what we're gonna do is connect the B and C uh, socket right now I have the meter and everything hooked up this is the microphone I had this microphone built by a ham uh, I don't recall his call sign right now but if you go on the QMX forums he's really good about responding you can find out who built it the ham radio crash course discord I also recommend here is the cable I got off of Amazon the name on it is Duckabell. it's just a tip ring sleeve that's kind of what you're looking for for the microphone now modes on this radio let's talk about modes we have upper sideband lower sideband cw and digital so i'm and then it shut down because i held it too long so we're going to jump over here and uh let's look at the usb we'll swap over to the uh we're going to look at upper sideband we'll swap over to the meter and check out power output Okay guys, so now we have the QMX hooked up with the on the dummy load on the back of this meter. We're gonna watch the power output. We're gonna be on this bottom scale, the 20 watt scale. Gonna peak around three or four uh, down here at the bottom. This is the QMX. We're gonna listen to it off the 705. You will hear the audio be just a touch distorted just because of how close everything is. Kilo Radio 5, Whiskey Echo Sierra, KI5, WES, CQ, 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 testing the QMX into the dummy load. KI5, WES, CQ, CQ, CQ. All right, now we will drop it to average power. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. Now we are going to get some swing with it being on sideband, but I really, really enjoy this little small radio. I said I wasn't gonna sell my last one. I ended up selling it. Uh, just like everything else, it seems to always come and go. I might sell this one. I haven't decided if I wanna keep it. I really liked the high bands on the other one. But this is the QRP Labs QMX transceiver. One downfall that it does, it does not have a speaker. The other cheap HF radio had a speaker, but that's okay. An external speaker can be plugged into the audio port right here or some or some uh headphones and that's all you need so something keep it minimal like this this radio will have a built-in ptt but it is not active at this moment but uh, when that gets activated this is going to be a pretty bad little radio i love this little radio 
Don't give it any more than the 12 volts that's recommended, not 13.8, not 14.6, 12 volts only. You will fry this little dude. But uh, you can set all that in the settings. Has a lot of good functions. Uh, there's your audio settings, CW, digital settings, SSB, presets, messages, set your VFO. You can set up a beacon, display and controls. Uh, SWR, power protection, very important for this little dude. Uh, system config, hardware test, and a factory reset. And you can update the firmware. This is a great little radio. I highly recommend this pocket-sized amateur radio. Look forward to making some more videos on it. I've done a review in the past, but if you're looking for pocket-sized, in particular, amateur radio, this is it. 73 guys, easy amateur radio with the QMX transceiver. Thank you for watching.